Okay, so hi, I'm Mike Van Genderen, and I'm going to be presenting uh, information retrieval. Um, so I'm going to say, talk about what it is, and then we'll have a demo on how you can go about building your own search engine. Uh, so first, what is it? Well, when a lot of people think of information retrieval, they think of Google. You go onto Google, you put a search in, and then you get back uh, web pages based off of uh, that contain information based off of what you search. Uh, but a lot of other applications also have information retrieval. In YouTube, you can search for videos. Uh, Facebook, you can search for friends. Uh, Netflix, you can search for series to watch. Uh, Giphy, you can search for GIFs. LinkedIn, you can search for people you work with. Uh, Wikipedia, you can search for articles. So let's talk about indexing. Um, so indexing is how we, um, we basically take documents and then we arrange them based off of terms related to them. Um, then we can retrieve these documents based off of the terms that we index by. Um, so there's lots of ways that we can go about uh, retrieving uh, documents based off of how we index, or based off of the terms we use. And we can do that by these different models. Um, so there's a lots of different models out there. Um, in this uh, picture here, they're arranged on the side by the different types of math used for the algorithms for retrieving the documents. And then across the top, uh, we have the term, how uh, related the terms are to each other. Um, so we're going to be doing the standard Boolean and the vector space models. They use uh, set and algebraic math. Um, and they do not have uh, any interrelations between the terms we use to index. So let's really quick uh, take a look at what happens if we Google search Halo. So in Google, if I type in Halo, I get back the video game Halo. I'm not getting um, Angel Halos. I'm not getting Beyonce's song Halo. Uh, I'm getting the Halo video game. Uh, the first link that comes up is the official site. Um, it's not a fan page for Halo. Um, and then we have the Twitter and we have Wikipedia. So let's try to make something similar to this. Um, so how can we go about doing that? Well, let's start with the Boolean search model. So with a Boolean model, we arrange the documents into sets based off of the terms that we index them by. Um, then we can do a lot of cool, uh, we can pull back an entire set, all the documents within the set, or we can do cool set logic uh, to do things like pulling back the intersection of two sets. So you can have a document uh, that is indexed by both Halo and Game, and then you can return the intersection of Halo and Game. So that will just give you documents that are indexed by both Halo and Game. Um, so it's very powerful if you know exactly what you're looking for and you know how all the documents are indexed in the back end. Um, but it is limiting in terms of if you don't know what you're looking for, uh, it's not going to be returned in your search query if you don't have the right term in there. So I created a uh, search engine so I can demo this Boolean model. Um, here I have a search bar. And then I can uh, search uh, for web pages that I indexed in the back end. So for Boolean search, if I search fruit, um, I have links to the web pages I made. Uh, and this is returning just fruit. So if I click on one of these links, uh, it's a web page I made with a picture, some text, and then some links to other web pages I made. Um, so fruit gives me back just fruit. If I type in Halo, I get back the video game Halo. Um, I also have this uh, Halo fruit. It's the oranges, because uh, they have the Halo term in them. I have Angel Halo. I have Beyonce's Halo. Uh, I'm not getting back the other fruits. These are just things that are indexed by Halo. I can be more specific. I can type Halo game. And now I'm getting back just the pages related to Halo game. Um, but if you notice, in my Halo search at the bottom, I do have Halo Monopoly. This is not indexed by uh, the term game, so I do not have it when I type in Halo game. Uh, this can be limiting. Like if, if someone's actually looking for the Halo Monopoly game, it's not going to show up. Uh, so how, how can we go about having that, um, having the Halo uh, Monopoly game still show up in this Halo game search? 
we can start looking at the vector space model. Uh, so the way that this works is we have a multi-dimensional space um, where each term is its own dimension. So here I have three-dimensional space with three terms, uh, Halo, Game, and Beyonce. Um, and I have a vector for queries and the documents. So I have a, a query here that just has the term Halo in it, so it's just in the Halo space. Um, and then I have a page here that is uh, the Halo video game, so it's in both the Halo and game space. Um, I have Beyonce's song page so that uh, for Halo, so it's in the Halo Beyonce space. And then I have a page that's just for Beyonce, it doesn't have the Halo song in it, so it's only in the Beyonce space. Um, then we can do comparisons on how related a page is to a query based off of the angle in between the vectors. So the smaller the angle, the more related the page is. Um, so the Halo video game page has Halo and game, so it's a 45 degree angle difference between the, um, the query vector and the same with the Halo Beyonce page. Uh, the Beyonce page has a 90 degree angle, so it's not related at all. Anything with a 90 degree angle is not related. Um, the term halo is not in there. So let's demo what this looks like. I have this vector search. If I type in halo, then this returns the same as if I did a Boolean search. Uh, all of these pages have the term halo and something else in it, so they all have a 45 degree angle between the search query. But now if I type in halo game, I get the halo video games as being more relevant at the top but I still keep these other pages, including this Monopoly game down at the bottom. Cool, we're getting closer, um, but the way that it works in Google is if I type Halo, I want the video games at the top. This is based off of the users saying that the Halo video game is most relevant to this Halo query. So now we can start to add in some algorithms. Um, here I'll talk about uh, the machine learning algorithm for relevance feedback. Um, so every time a user clicks on a Halo video game page, we can change the vector that we have for the search query for just the Halo term to lean more in the direction of the Halo video game uh, vector. Um, so in pink, I have the original Halo uh, query, and then the red uh, vector is showing after someone has clicked on the Halo video game link a few times. Uh, so the relevance for the Halo video game is, um, is greater because of the smaller angle and it's leaning away, or it still has a 45 degree angle between the Halo Beyonce uh, page vector. So let's take a look at what this would look like. Um, if I add relevancy to this and I search again, now when I click on the Halo page, it opens it up and it changed the vector for my query. So now this is coming up as more relevant for the, Halo, uh, for the Halo search. I could click it again to add more relevancy. I can go down to Monopoly. Someone could click on the Monopoly game. And now we have the Halo video games and the Monopoly showing up. If I add more relevancy to this, more relevancy to Monopoly. Someone looked up the Beyonce song. Now we're starting to see what people are actually uh, clicking on when they're typing in the Halo query. If I refresh this page, I search again on Halo uh, with the vector search and the relevancy. It comes back with the Halo video game at the top. It, keep, it saves that. Cool. Um, something to notice is that the official site that I made is coming up at the bottom of the fan pages. Um, so a way that we can fix that is start introducing the page rank algorithm. So to quickly go over what PageRank is, um, it's basically if I were searching on the internet, um, just going around along random pages, how likely is it that I'll land on a particular page? Um, so it's a number between zero and one. Um, the closer to one you are, the more popular the page is. And we do this based off of how many links a page has to it. Um, so a page like Wikipedia has a lot of links to it, uh, so it has a very high page rank. And then Wikipedia itself has a lot of references to other pages, so then it increases those page ranks also. Because it has a high page rank, it increases the pages it links to uh, more greatly. 
Um, and then those pages can link to other pages. Because it has a pretty decent page rank, it boosts them up a little bit too. Uh, on the right, I have a page that's not linked to, so it has a very low page rank. Um, and then any page it links to gets a boost, but it's not as high as if it was linked to by Wikipedia. Uh, so thanks for listening. Uh, that was my talk. There's a lot more to learn. There's a lot of other models. There's a lot of other algorithms out there. Um, and you can tailor it to the way that you want to handle information retrieval for your application. Uh, indexing is also another huge topic that you can look into. Um, so here's some good references that I use for this talk, and my code is out there on GitHub at the bottom. Thank you.